The Philosophy of Baroque Music The Greeks and Romans believed that music was a powerful tool of communication and could arouse any emotion in its listeners. As a result of the revival of these ideas, composers became increasingly aware of music's potential power and developed the belief that the music they wrote could affect people in the same way if they correctly modeled ancient music and expanded upon it. The lyrical portions of the compositions became more important than ever before. Back in those days, the local barber often performed minor surgery or dental work, and he hated music so much that he would close the windows when the church bells rang, and he even hated to hear the lullabies that were sung to his son. Because he felt so strongly about music, Dr. Handel did not want his son exposed to music at all. Instead, he insisted that he become a lawyer and began his son's studies toward that at an early age. Now, George's father did not want him to become a musician, so what do you think George would do in order to practice music at his home? Because he did want to become a musician. It was the custom in those days, in wealthy families, to have either a hired person or a relative who needed a home care for the children and provide for their everyday needs. George was very fortunate to have his Aunt Anna to care for him. She made sure that he was exposed to music and for his seventh birthday bought him a clavichord. She hid it in the attic where Dr. Handel could not hear and she let George play it secretly for a while every day. George was soon playing melodies that he made up himself, as well as tunes that he had heard before. When George was about seven or eight, his father took him along on a visit to the Duke of Weisenfels. George was fascinated with the music in the court chapel there. The organist let him try the huge pipe organ and was amazed at what the small child could do. When the Duke found out that Dr. Handel had refused to give his son lessons, he persuaded him to let the boy study music with the chapel organist. By the age of eleven, he was playing the organ, violin, oboe, and harpsichord. George became famous for his operas as well as other types of music. He composed water music for a festival that the king was having on barges floating down the Thames River. The king liked it so well that he paid Handel a salary for the rest of his life. As his style of opera became less popular in England, he turned to writing oratorios, which were religious pieces to be sung in church. His most famous is the Messiah, which is still sung today, especially at Christmas. While composing, he lived in this house in London.